first thing you want to do is locate your subscription number which is located at the bottom of the orb right here. The next thing you want to do is open up the Fitbook packaging. And inside the packaging you have your battery for the orb. You also have your wrist strap and it also comes with a belt clip. Inside the main compartment you have the Fitbug orb itself. The welcome guide shows you where to activate your Fitbug account. It's fitbug.com forward slash start or if you have the Fitbug app you can install the Fitbug app from the App Store or the Google Play Store and then open it up and you can create a brand new account right here using the subscription number which is located on the bottom of your box. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is insert the battery into the orb. You can do that using a small coin. Just flip the orb over and you have a small indented groove there that just allows you to open up the back. And you can insert the battery with the plus symbol facing upwards. Then you just tighten it by screwing it clockwise. Okay, so you, what you want to do is you want to check that the orb is up and running. Just press the button once for half a second and you should see a green light appear. That shows you that the battery placement was successful and the orb is ready to go. You can easily insert the orb into the belt clip or you can insert it into the wrist strap, whichever one you prefer. For now I'm going to leave the orb outside of its straps. The reason is, is because I want to find the serial number which is located at the back of the orb. So here you have a 10 digit serial number, which is not to be confused with the subscription number. The subscription number is on the back of the box versus the serial number which is on the back of the bug. Go ahead and load up the Fitbug app. If you haven't already created an account, go ahead and click create a new account. Once again, you can use the subscription number located at the back of the box. Since I already have a Fitbug account, I'm just going to go ahead and log right in. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to set up the Orb device. And you can do that by tapping on Devices. Then next, you want to tap on the plus symbol. Here you have a white text box where you can input the serial number of your Fitbug Orb. The serial number of my Fitbug Orb, for example, is 06. 428. So I'm just going to type that in. Next you want to make sure that the pink tick is actually ticked. That just ensures that the orb is linked to your Fitbug account. And before you hit pair, you need to make sure that Bluetooth is turned on. So for iPhone devices, you will have that Bluetooth symbol right there. That indicates that the Bluetooth is active and ready to go. So in this case, we can go ahead and hit pair. And for the Fitbug Orb, what you want to do is you want to press and hold the button for 5 seconds and that gets it into setup mode. Okay. So now here we have the device setup screen where you can input your current weight and also your stride length. You can input your height in feet and inches and that automatically calculates your stride length. Just a note here, your height is not stored, it is just used to calculate the stride length which is stored. The Orb has three upload modes. The first mode is push, which allows you to send your data on demand. To activate push mode, press the button for half a second. You'll see a green light indicating that your steps are uploading. The next mode is stream mode, which allows you to view your steps in real time on the Fitbug app. To activate stream mode, quick press the button twice. The lights will blink every 5 seconds to indicate that stream mode is active. So what you can do is, you can simulate a walking motion and then you should see your steps on the Fitbug app. And here you have your walking zone 
and that just shows you the pace at which you're walking. That's between 100 and 150 steps. That is your ideal walking zone. In this case, it's around 130 steps. To switch off stream mode, just press and hold the button on the orb. And you'll see an orange light blink, and that shows you that stream mode has been deactivated. The next upload mode is beacon mode. Beacon mode is automatically defaulted to 30 minutes on your device. And beacon mode allows you to have the app running in the background, and while you're doing other tasks, the orb will try to upload your steps every 30 minutes. I also wanted to mention a little bit about sleep mode. Sleep mode allows you to track your sleep quality and your sleep interruptions throughout the night. To activate sleep mode, quick press the button three times. You will see the light flash five times to indicate that sleep mode has been activated. To deactivate sleep mode, press and hold the button until you see the light flash five times. This has been the demonstration video for the Fitbug Orb. If you need help with any of the Orb's features or uploading your steps, visit fitbug.com forward slash help for a list of our frequently asked questions and you can also contact our Fitbug support team.